is my pair of cribs. I, uh, the female there just went into the terracotta pot there. She was a, a rescue from one of my co-workers. So I thought I'd uh, fed her now for a good while. I thought I'd pick up a male, see if I can get a spawn out of our bread cribs before. But a similar setup, I found that uh, in my experience, this is probably, probably bred them a half dozen times. Not this particular pair, but other pairs in the past that they often breed in like uh, caves with very small entrances. So I'm hoping or assuming that they may spawn in the terracotta, the hole cut into. Although the female has been doing some digging in amongst there, in and behind the rocks. But anyway, so I pick up a male and see if they'd pair up. Typically, I'd like to get a small group, but I already had the female, and she's quite a bit bigger than him, as you can see. But they're both eating fine. I just put some frozen bloodworms in there, just so I can see what's floating around there now. But showing off a bit for her. Both of them are colored up and getting along. She's a bit hard on them, but I found in the past as well with cribs that the female is always a bit harder on than the male, especially at spawning but uh, hopefully now in a couple of weeks or even maybe tomorrow <laughs> ideally but we'll see what uh, if we get a, a brood out of him but he's acting uh, he's playing a bit for her, but like I said usually with cribs it's up to the female when they when they breed or I should say that's in my experience anyway but as you can see she's probably twice the size of them They're in a, I think it's about a 25 gallon tall, it's just an empty tank I had and I thought maybe I should take her out of the rescue tank with a few other fish I had and set this up and try it. I was going to go with a bare bottom but I like watching them uh, dig around and stuff, bringing their fry around so I put some uh, silica sand in there and see how that works out. But she frequents in there, but it's definitely, I don't suspect any spawning yet, of course, because usually in the past when I've spawned them, I usually know they've spawned because you don't see the female for about a week. And I've spent many time in other setups looking for, thinking I lost the female crib, perhaps she died or whatnot, but uh, sure enough, within a week then she emerges with the free swimmer, so I suspect that once I uh, lose sight of her for a few days, Maybe in that pot, when the time comes, that'll be a for sure sign. So anyway, that's it for this little video. I'll, uh, maybe I'll take some more video if there's any other uh, signs of spawning or digging around, but he seems to be displaying a bit for. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted.